At the last minute, Sticky Scroll got pulled from the last release of Visual Studio. Well, now it's finally back, I'm going to show you how to enable it. Also included in the 17.6 release is color matching braces. Now, for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology. But sometimes, you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10-minute training series. So let's dive right in. Here I have a simple console application, and please don't judge the code. The code is just there to give us an example. It's just there to kind of fill up the page and, and show what could be. And so I've got uh, a few things here. I've got uh, first name, last name, and vehicle type. I'm checking first on an if statement to see if the first name is Tim. And if so, cool, really cool first name. But then if the last name is Corey inside the first name is Tim, that means your name is Tim Corey. Therefore, hello, Professor Corey. But then we're going to do a switch on the vehicle to see what type of vehicle I drive. And so we have all these different these different statements. Now, if you're if you're in here somewhere, you might get lost as to where you are. Notice there's four levels of indent here. It, where where are we and what's going on? And, and does this curly brace apply to the switch statement or does this one? And where does this come? Oh, it's the else statement. Oh, that's the method. You know, you get, you get kind of, you know, embed in this. And this is in the program.cs. So we're not even inside of a class, a namespace, or a method. So we've got even more indents if we were in those. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, even with this condensed, simplified program.cs file. So how do you keep track of all of this? Well, Microsoft has looked at what the community has done because there are other things that do this. And they said, you know what? That's a great feature. So let's add this to Visual Studio. And that's the idea of sticky scroll. So it's not on by default and it is still in preview. It still has bugs. I've seen quite a few of them, so you'll have to bear with it. But if you want to get this now in the retail version of Visual Studio, this is not a, a preview version of Visual Studio. This is, uh, let's go to the about. This is uh, Community Edition 2022, and it's the latest 17.6.0. So as long as you have 17.6.0, you can go to Tools, Options, and under the Text Editor General, you'll see a section here that says sticky scroll. Now, because my font size is larger, it cuts off a lot of this stuff, which is frustrating. Um, but click the group the current scopes within a scroll region of the editor window. This is what turns sticky scroll on. Maximum sticky lines, right now it's defaulted to five. You can change that if you want. And again, yes, because my font size is, is larger for videos, it kind of cuts this off. And the number of scopes exceeds the maximum, prefer the outer scopes or the inner scopes. So you get to choose which one drops off after you have five total. Do you drop off um, the outer scopes or the inner scopes? So right now you prefer the outer scopes, which means the inner scopes will drop off. So it's up to you which one you choose. And hit OK. And so now we scroll this. Notice that when we get to the if statement right here, watch what happens at the top. Notice it's still there. It's line five. And now we have line seven, even though, you know, there's a line six in between, but, you know, we're not showing that. And if we get down even further, watch what happens to line 10. It sticks. Now, there's one of those bugs, I think. Um, notice how we don't have line 10 showing anymore with this curly brace. So that's kind of a, a quirk there. I think they need to, need to work through and make sure that that gets resolved. But as soon as you mouse or go beyond the curly brace line to the actual content, then you see the uh, the next thing stick. So if we can keep going in here. So now we, we, we've stuck four levels deep. And that's remember we have five total based upon the default. You can go deeper if you wanted to, but now you're talking about four or five, six lines of your text editor being used for the sticky scroll. But what this allows you to do is it allows you to see, okay, I'm in the, the vehicle type motorcycle, inside of a switch for on vehicle, inside of if last name equals Corey, inside of if first name equals Tim. It allows you to kind of figure out where you are in the hierarchy. It also allows you to line up things to say, okay, this, you know, if you get down here, this curly brace is for the if because it lines up with the if right there. It makes it a little easier. So that's sticky scroll. You just turn it on and then adjust it as you, as you need um, to, um, to, to working. Now, 
I have noticed, and I'll, I'll point this out again, this is a preview feature. So there's still going to be bugs. So don't get too upset if it doesn't work perfectly, because again, you're turning on a preview feature. But I have noticed every once in a while when I go to scroll up, it won't scroll up any further, even though it's more to scroll up. It kind of gets locked up. And all I do is to resolve that is just click anywhere um, on my screen and keep going and it's fine. So if you notice that that problem, just click anywhere on your screen, you're good to go. Um, and again, it, when you have the curly brace, it doesn't always notice it, it, it caught it here. So it, it pinned the switch vehicle. Oh, no, but it didn't. It seemed to before, but it didn't. Um, so it doesn't pin the, the switch statement when you get the curly brace on the same line. So I think it's a bug, but maybe it's just a, uh, a preference. Um, so that's, that's sticky scroll, but we're not done yet because like I said, you know, you want to make sure you line these up, these curly braces, and we've got this little, you know, die line. That's, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, but there is another option. Let's go ahead and go to tools options, same spot here, text editor general. Um, if you come down here, we have enable brace pair colorization. Check that and hit okay. And now notice that um, like this open and closing parentheses, they both are yellow and we have a yellow curly brace here, but then a, a kind of a pinkish purple curly brace and then a blue curly brace. And the reason why is because you say, okay, you know, this if statement has a pink curly brace. Therefore, I can come down here and find the pink curly brace that corresponds. So it's just another way to keep track of opening and closing and make sure that you understand, especially in circumstances. And let's just um, create one here that, you know, um, let's, let's do a double, um, double result equals, you know, um, one plus four times five, you know, uh, let's go divided by uh, six divided by eight. Like you can, you can go in through here and we can, um, you know, dive into different colorizations, but notice how when you look at this parentheses, you notice that it corresponds over here. And yeah, I know it's got an error here, no big deal. Um, but that allows you to very easily see where things are. And that works for braces, that works for curly braces. Um, it works for square brackets. So things that are going to um, have it open and closing, it works for very nicely. So allowing this um, colorization makes it a lot easier to really visually see where you're maybe missing one or maybe made a bad assumption. Because if you, um, you know, if you are, let's just say, um, if you're missing something like this, you know, you go, wait, six divided by eight. I, I'm missing something here because I don't have this red one's missing, you know? And so you go, oh, it's actually, you know, plus four. There you go. Now we've got a, a matched pair. So stuff like that you can do that it really helps keep an eye on where things are at in your code and make sure that you understand how one curly brace corresponds the other make sure you know which one is which when you're looking at maybe a set of curly braces especially at the ends like this where you see multiple so those are the two things i want to show you from 17.6 there are more things from the 17.6 release that i'm going to want to show you but those two editor tweaks that um, you can turn on are i think two valuable things that i'm going to be using and so um, I'm sure that as you watch future videos, you're going to say, wait, wait, how did you turn those things on? Mine doesn't do that. Well, this video shows you how. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoy these things. And as always, I am Tim Corey.